Well, that was a shit show. I kind of expected most of their reactions, though. Angel hiding his anger with jokes. Husk being more depressed than usual. Alistair and Nifty not seeming to care. And Charlie. Charlie won't talk to me. Which I deserve. At least no one tried to kick me out. Well, that was a lot. It's good to see you again, Maggie. It's vac- You know what? Never mind. How's Charlie doing? Tired. But I I got her to sleep. And how's Emily? Exhausted. She's probably asleep by now. So, an angel, huh? Did Charlie tell you? Not quite. I am still an angel. You know, a divine presence who's been around before the creation of humanity. I knew from the moment I saw you. I thought Charlie knew. But why didn't you tell her? She wouldn't have hurt you. It's not that simple. Well, then why? If there's anyone down here who would understand, it's me. It's not that I'm an exorcist. I listened to every word they said. And I believed it. For years, I thought mindless slaughter protected heaven. For years, I justified why my victims didn't deserve an afterlife. I believed it all. I followed every order I was given, the cruel and unjust ones. Even now, after so long, there's a voice in my head telling me they deserve death and that I'm no better. So what changed? You had to give in to some sort of vice to fall. What was it? Greed? Gluttony? Mercy. I fell because I showed mercy to a hellborn child. Wait. Hellborn are pardoned from- Adam doesn't enforce that. If it was in our way, we killed it. Imps, hellhounds, Goetia. Adam knew as long as you didn't care about them, you wouldn't notice. I really have been out of the loop, haven't I? Get some rest, Maggie. You've earned it. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to talk to Sarah.